Hello, and welcome to Bite Size Military History. I'm your host, Amish Smith. Today, we'll look at the Battle of Clontarf in 1014 CE. The battle was the culmination of a struggle for control over Ireland during the Viking Age. The battle wasn't just an isolated event, but part of the broader Norse Gallic conflicts that swept across Ireland as Viking settlers and Norse Gallic lords vied for dominance against the native Gallic kingships. The battle involved the forces of Brian Boru, the High King of Ireland, pitted against a Norse-Irish alliance led by the King of Dublin, Citric Silkenbeard, and his Norse allies, including warriors from the Orkney Islands and the Isle of Man. Sources, such as the War of the Gals with Foreigners, offer an account, albeit with a strong pro brian Boru bias. Modern scholars, such as Sean Duffy's work in Brian Boru and the Battle of Clontarf, written in 2014, provide a fresh look, suggesting the battle's significance extended beyond the military victory to a symbolic assertion of Gallic supremacy and the decline of Norse power in Ireland. The battle itself occurred near Dublin, at Clontarf. Estimates of the army sizes vary, with sources suggesting that each side fielded approximately five to 7,000 fighters, almost all of whom were killed on both sides. Brian Boru commanded the Irish forces, which were a mix of native Irish troops along with some Norse allies, while the opposition, led by Citric Silkenbeard, was a coalition of Norse warriors from Dublin, the Western Isles, and Viking mercenaries. The battle itself was bloody and vicious, lasting from dawn until dusk. The Irish forces ultimately emerged victorious, but at a great cost. Brian Boru, though successful in breaking the power of Norse in Ireland, was killed, as were his son and his grandson, creating a succession crisis in one day. The victory did not end the Norse presence in Ireland, but significantly reduced their threat and power, marking the beginning of the end of Norse influence. The aftermath of Clontarf reshaped the Irish political landscape, reinforcing the power of the Gallic Irish kings and diminishing that of the Norse settlers. However, the death of Brian Boru also led to a power vacuum and internal strife among the Gallic Irish, affecting the island's stability. Thank you for watching. Please join me next week for the Battle of Stamford Bridge.